Hello, this is Overlord Boat, and we're back with another ship review, and today we're going to be looking at the new British Tier 10 heavy cruiser, the Gibraltar. Now, the Gibraltar will be coming out in 10.10, uh, around November 10th for NA, and November 11th for EU, and it's going to be in the Research Bureau for 59,000 uh, research, uh, 59,000 in the research bureau. So 59,000 research bureau points. Now the bow is 55 millimeters. Same with the aft. It has a 30 millimeter side plate with the 40 millimeter deck and it has a citadel of 178 and pretty much the bow here is 27 millimeters and the protection of the citadel is 152. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, oh, I also forgot to showcase the sit the turtle back. It doesn't really have one. So it's pretty much a Goliath uh, armor scheme. Uh, just, uh, you know, really big, really, really fat. Like really, really fat, if you know what I mean. So uh, let's go over the module build real quick. So the ship, um, and I do apologize, I was only able to, I forgot to record this before I lost access to the test ships because uh, I was a dummy. So I'll be getting, like, I'll be getting the ship soon anyway again, but... So anyway, the main build is main armament with the sonar enhancement, uh, aiming, aiming systems, uh, rudder shift, uh, concealment, and range mod. The commander build is going to be a uh, priority target with the enhancement and consumable with a survivability expert for the extra heal. Uh, then you're going to do concealment with the close quarters, adrenal, uh, AP, uh, adrenaline rush, and then the enhanced AP. So you get extra um, heavy AP, so you get that extra AP damage. Now, with the captain build out of the way, uh, we are going to start watching the replay while I talk about uh, the match. So let's hop on to it. All right. So, the, again, the Gibraltar is a British Tier 10 heavy cruiser for the Research Bureau. It has 59,400 uh, health with 25mm bow and stern, 30mm sides with a 40mm uh, millimeter deck. Now, this is very similar to the Goliath's armor layout, which I was just talking about. It does have an above-water citadel with 28% per, uh, percent torpedo protection system. Now, it has a very good HP pull for a Tier 10 cruiser. Uh, it is vulnerable to citadeling due to its high position, especially raised in the midsection. But it has a very good uh, tribute protection system for a cruiser. Now, it has three quad 234-50 guns. Same guns as the Des Moines, actually. Uh, but they have a 13.5 second reload with a 22.5 second turret reverse. Now, this ship can fire broadside at 45 degrees to the rear and 37 degrees off the bow. The ship does have a base range of 16.9 kilometers, which is why you want to take the 6th slot for range mod. Now, this ship does have AP, um, with, which has a 60 through 75 pen angle, same as the other, uh, sorry, same as the other Royal Navy uh, cruisers. Now, this ship does not have any HE at all, so it does have high alpha damage on AP pens, will rarely overpin thanks to the short fuse time on the shells. It's not really effective at landing citadels due to the short fuse, and it, since it does, and it does have no access to HE. It does have the same shell ballistics as a Goliath, but also suffers from poor turret angles, which is very difficult to kite. And it also has a relatively short gun range, so you have to build into the range mod. Uh, in saw six so you got to think of her guns as a heavy cruiser version of a minotaur high alpha and better pin but lo less dpm unfortunately it is your only source of damage so you have to position well to farm broadsides now the secondaries which are six uh twin 113 millimeter 45 guns one turn the front one in the rear and two on the port and two on the stern side these do have a range of 7.3 kilometers. Uh, these are about normal secondary accuracy, so not really remarkable secondaries for the Gibraltar. Now for the anti-air. The, the anti-air has six flak explosions, um, and the outer area of the secondary has 126 DPM, and the mid it has 332, and the short has 126. Now, this anti is okay for a tier 10 cruiser, though not enough to keep CVs from harassing you. 
but it is to definitely a significant threat to tier 8 CVs at least. Uh, since this ship does not have a lot of armor to speak of, it is definitely vulnerable to AP bombs and rockets. But at least you have smoke to help you dodge the CV strikes on this ship. Now for maneuverability, this ship has a base speed of 32 knots, uh, 840 mil, uh, meter turn circle with a 10 second rudder shift time. Now it does have a poor base speed and relatively large turning circle and about an average rudder shift time, which makes this ship overall poor maneuverability, which makes the Gibraltar struggle to evade shots and rotate flanks. Now for this ship's concealment, it does have a base of 14.1 for C, 9.3 for Sky. And if you build it purely into the concealment, which it goes to 11.5 for C and 7.5 for air. The ship also has a smoke fire penalty of 9.5 kilometers, which is very poor. And now the ship does have average concealment, though bad for the Royal Navy cruiser strand standards. And its smoke offsets her, her concealment, though her smoke firing penalty is fairly high now for the consumables for the consumables the ship has a standard cruiser dcp and a standard cruiser repair party it does not have the british super heal which is i see as a major weakness in this ship it does have a standard cruiser hydro which is the 3.5 uh, for torps and the five for and five for spotting the ships now it does have the royal navy type smoke but it, it does have a shorter duration uh compared to a minotaur yeah uniquely this ship does carry a smoke normally reserved for the light cruiser line so a heavy cruiser getting smoke is kind of rare even though it is a relatively short duration um it does have the same smoke duration as the mid-tier uh, uh, Royal Navy uh, light cruisers. Now, for the overall impression of this ship, I believe this ship has a very high, uh, has a high skill floor and about an average skill ceiling. Essentially, pretty much essentially, it's a cross between a Goliath hull and Smoke Minotaur playstyle. The Gibraltar is a smoke damage farming cruiser. Um, but she has a decent overall survivability due to her heals and smoke, but struggles against angled ships due to her AP only, uh, ammo. The smoke is nice, but she is fairly easy to hit due to her large size and having 12 guns. It's pretty easy to tell where she's at in the smoke. Pretty, it's pretty easy to tell. Now, due to her large size, it's not a good sign as she is highly vulnerable to citadels this way when she's in the smoke. They can easily just see where you're at, shoot while you're firing smoke. And especially with the 9.5 firing smoke penalty, which is really poor. Now, her turret angles are also very uncomfortable, forcing her to sit somewhat broadside uh, when kiting and further highlighting her vulnerable citadel. Now, let's talk about if I recommend this ship for randoms, ranked, and CBs. Now, for randoms, uh, it's about average, fairly survivable, survivable, but lacks in firepower and isn't effective at kiting due to poor turret angles. The most success that I had with this ship was when I literally just W'd in into an area and just bullied DDs with this thing's AP. But the problem is this thing has such a large concealment and a terrible smoke conceal that usually you would just use the smoke to hide and then wait for someone to come near you and just plop out and try to blap them before they kill you. So I wouldn't really find this ship super effective in randoms. It's, it would be like a fun meme ship. But we're going to keep going on. Like, in the end, I'll give my verdict. Now, for ranked, I would say it's mediocre to average. It lacks the utility versus DDs, though her AP is very effective. Um, though, for catching... Uh, it's very effective in catching anything. It catches a DD broadside. I can just blap them. Now, for CVs, I'd say highly likely of never being used. It has no HE, it is still somewhat vulnerable to damage, and the Goliath will, is very superior to this ship in its kind of role. Now let's talk about my overall verdict, okay? So for this ship, it 
when I played it, I tried to do every place I could think of to try to get this ship to work. I did the kiting, I did the pushing in, I did the smoking, I did the middle range, or using islands. The ship just suffers from having a large, a very large smoke penalty, which causes this ship to really suffer when it tries to do kiting of any kind or smoke farming. And the real, the real fun I had was when I was just bullying DDs like that. Like I just bullied them for fun. Like literally, just just took so much in for fun. That's a lot of fun to do. So, I would say that for this ship, it costs fifty nine thousand research bureau. Right now, if this ship was a coal ship, um, I think I would slightly recommend it just for its kind of meme ish. But since it costs 59,000 um, 59, research bureau, I can't comfortably res like I can't comfortably um, try to recommend this ship to to I can't comfortably recommend it. Um, in the match, I did do 107,000 damage and I did get three kills and I also did do um, I did get top of the team with 1623 base XP. Now, again, as I was going to repeat, I can't comfortably recommend this ship for the 59,000 Research Bureau. There's a lot of other Research Bureau ships that you can get that are currently better than this ship. So that is why I would not really recommend this ship. So that is just my take on it. You are able to go and ask other people as well. But for it being a new british tier 10 heavy cruiser it's in without no super heal it has a terrible smoke firing penalty i wouldn't really recommend this ship sadly but um but yeah that is my overview of the gibraltar uh again for it being fifty nine thousand research bureau i wouldn't really waste my time with it there are a lot of other research bureau ships like the ohio you got the vampire 2 you got the druid um you got a lot of other options you can pick besides the gibraltar and that are way worth more than this ship like you got the druid you got the ohio you got the vampire 2 paulo melio sig freak you got a lot of better options for you there but yep, that is going to be the video. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely leave them down in the comments down below. But this is Overlord Bo, and I'll talk to you all later.